Question 7a was as follows. Given that m is equal to 4n over n minus 5, make n the subject of the formula. So students were asked to make n the subject of the formula. So to do that, what you need to do is, first we are going to rely to the same expression just the way it is. Then uh, the next step is now to get rid of the fraction. So how do we do that? We multiply both sides by n minus 5. We multiply both sides, uh, both sides. Okay, we multiply both sides or both terms by n minus 5. So we can say n minus 5 multiplied by m. Then also on the right side we say 4n over n minus 5 multiplied by n minus 5. Then we have, what do we get? So we multiply m by every letter in the bracket. So m multiplied by m multiplied by n will give us mn. Then negative m multiplied by negative 5 will give us negative 5m. Okay. Then which is going to be equal to 4. So we're going to cancel the n minus 5 down and n minus 5 on top there on the right side of the equal sign okay like that then we remain with 4n so you know that when you uh, a denominator uh, can cancel out any number that is on top that's what we have done there then we're going to say is equal to 4n okay now what we're going to do here is we're going to put like terms together the next thing is to put like terms together. So as you can see, 4n and mn, they are like terms. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to write negative 5m. The way it's written n, it should be m. I'm going to change it right on. It should be m. So I'm going to say negative 5m is equal to then 4n minus mn. Okay then once we've done that then the next thing we're going to do is now we are i'm going to factorize so i'm going to factorize this uh those two terms in the brackets so that means i'm going to write equal to then it's going to be uh negative 5m is equal to so what is common in those two terms, 4n and mn, what do they have in common? They have got n. Both of the terms have got n. So we are going to say is equal to, then we're going to put n, open bracket, because n is found in both. That's what we're going to use as a, uh, a common factor. So we're going to say n into 4n, it will go four times. n into negative m, it will go n into negative m n is going to go negative m times okay now we have factorized that once we have done that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to divide uh, both terms by um, both sides by 4 minus m we're going to divide both sides by 4 minus m so where we have negative 5 m we're going to divide by 4 minus m n okay which is we are also going to divide n open bracket 4 minus m divided by 4 minus m okay so negative 5 m minus 4 m it will give us uh, the same they are not like terms so we are going to uh, put not the like terms there is no number that can go into 5 so that means we 4 minus m cannot go into 5 so we're going to write negative 5m over 4 minus m which is equal to then we are going to divide uh, that so you can see that on top we have got 4 minus m and down of 4 minus m that means those who can be cancelled out Okay, leaving us with n, which is equal to n. Okay, so now we have made um, n the subject of the formula. So now like that, we have made m 
in the subject of the formula. So you can even uh, swap the terms. You can put N on the left side and negative 5 M and ne negative 5 M over 4 minus M can go to the right side. It's also the same. Even this way, it's correct. N now is subject of the formula. So let me just change where I said I will change where it's written negative 5 uh, N. It should be negative 5 M like that. Okay, so now let's go to question 7B.